Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen and how are you doing today? Have you seen, you've seen the movie like Grumpy Old Men, Grumpy Old Men, right? Where um, after John get hooks up with Ariel and then the next morning he's all like singing that song, you know, he's a love man and he's just, you know, cracking his eggs and adding the Tabasco sauce on his eggs, you know, and, and just like, he's just in this great freaking mood, right? That's me today. That's me today. And it's kind of odd because if you knew the chaos going on in my life right now and the condition of my house, um, yeah, you would be like, I, I take, I mean, literally it's one of those days I should have stayed in bed. Um, <laughs> I could have stayed in bed. Um, after this week, but I didn't, I didn't, and I am just so pumped up today. I have so much stuff I want to get done, which I know I won't, you know, never ending list, like cleaning this room, not going to happen today, you know, hopefully my kitchen will get cleaned, but yeah, I am just, I'm like John that morning in, in Grumpy Old Men, just like, I'm just pumped, I'm just excited, I just have this energy and I don't know why, <laughs> but it's great. It's a, just a great feeling. I, you know, it's just awesome. So we'll see what I get done today, right? But anyway, this is the last video of the Rose and Rose Hip series. Literally the last. I just, I just saved it for last because I just, it's, it's a fun one. I guess they were all fun. They're all pretty interesting, weren't they? And there's so much more you can do, but I have to stop here because <sighs> if I don't, I won't have any roses for the rest of the year. <laughs> we are infusing roses and rose hips in an oil to make a rose rose hip oil. Is this, is this possible? I don't know, but I've seen it and roses are going to give it great components. I personally think it needs to be heated in the crock pot, okay, because of the rose hips themselves and strained really, really well, okay, if you cut them up. I think I, I can't remember. But anyway, we're using jojoba oil to make this beautiful infused oil. And I know what jojoba is. I know a basic, you know, structure of it, but I was like, where did it come from? So I'm going to post this link below and I'm reading verbatim what they say. Okay. So don't tell me I'm plagiarizing or anything. I am literally quoting what they say. Okay. So, um, a little bit about hobo, hohoba. Okay. Even though it's J O J O B A, it's hohoba. Okay. In Spanish, the, the J's are H's. So, Jojoba, okay? It first emerged in the 1970s as an eco-friendly alternative to the once popular sperm oil sourced directly from the whale. Gross. Verbatim. It quickly gained popularity in part as a matter of convenience. The seeds themselves are ultra-rich in oil, but utilizing this oil or wax ester, if we're getting nitpicky about it, okay, it is a wax. They don't, it's not really classified as an oil. It says jojoba oil, but it's more like a wax, okay? Wax ester. Um, research finds that it helps the skin retain moisture, protects the skin's natural barrier, and prevents trans epidermal water loss. Um, unlike some other natural oils that leave the skin feeling greasy, jojoba is lightweight enough to be comfortably used on the face without clogging the pores or leaving the skin looking oily. It also has inherent anti-inflammatory and soothing qualities, making it a science that it's contender for combating dry skin, aging, and wound healing. Some research suggests it enhances the absorption, absorption of other topical products, meaning active ingredients can become more effective when combined with jojoba oil. Okay, but I'll post that link below so you can finish reading the article, but it's really, really good and in-depth. That's what we're doing today. We're infusing rose hips, rose petals into jojoba oil, and then we're going to use it on two 
different products, which I'm so stoked about. This jojoba rose petal oil will be, would be, a stellar skin oil, just as it is. You know how you, you get the face oil that, you know, and, okay, it would be stellar all by itself. Um, the scent I'm using is Passion Fruit Rose by Brambleberry, which is a flavor oil, technically. I have used it. It says not no cold process use. I have used it in cold process twice. The first time I had no issue whatsoever. The second time I had glycerin reverse. The first time I did not um, see pop it. So that's interesting, right? Um, I have used this in candles. It is delightful. I love this scent. But anyway, now three things. Dream big. Be true to you. You are worth it. And let's go check out this last roses and rose hips video. Infused oils are really simple to make. Um, I am going to cut up a bunch of rose hips just to have a little more um, surface area um, of the rose hips in the oil. Um, I will be straining this <laughs> very thoroughly. Um, as you can see, there's lots of seeds and hairs in, in these things, and it's, it's just crazy, you guys. Um, but infused oils. So to finish this at the end... You can infuse it four to six weeks. You can put it in a crock pot. Um, you've seen me do that um, in a crock pot with a towel and some water and infuse it um, all day long at a very low setting. Um, some people will actually put it on the stove in a double boiler. You really got to watch that one because it does take a few hours to do. You know, you got to watch that water. But anyway, to start, um, I'm just filling up this pint jar with... Um, rose petals. Uh, I can't remember how many. 0.25? Nope. More? More? Nope. 0.32. It's a small jar. I should have probably used a different jar, but I only had so much jojoba oil, so... Okay. That's the kicker. And then, uh, 0.46. Are we gonna go with the whole five? Yep. 0.6 of the rose hips and the rose, um, buds, petals whatever you want to call them, all dried, all dried. Do not use, um, I never use fresh plants in my oils. The cotton seed is probably the only one. I'm actually thinking about getting away from that. So top it off with your oil. You can have a mixture of oils. You can do almond oil. You can do argon oil. Um, I'm doing jojoba oil. Um, it doesn't matter. You, you can mix them together. You can have just singles. Um, the most important thing is to shake this daily for a while. Um, let it burp. It's, it's not fresh plant matter, so it should be okay. Um, cap it with a lid. Yeah. Infuse it how you're going to infuse it, but make sure to add oil if it gets low. And here's our beautiful roses and rosehip oil. Okay, to the lip balm. Do you see my all jacked up in the background there? <laughs> it's a bigger bar. Okay, real quickly, we are going to use, um, we're going to start with coconut oil, and then we're going to add a little bit of shea to this, and then we're going to add some mango. We're not adding cocoa butter because it's going to be colored a light pink, so just so you know. And then we can't forget our beeswax. These waxes a thing. And I don't even know why I didn't add the jojoba oil here because it's jojoba, just because it's infused, you know. But I was doing double boiler. That was my castor oil, just a itty bitty bit. And then you melt it down in the double boiler or whatever you're going to use. I had strained this once already, but um, I decided to strain it one more time. You know what I mean? Like I did an initial strain and I'm like, eh, eh, maybe. Just, just, just because I was like, I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> just in case. Looks pretty good though. Um, but so there we go. I mean, this is just a quickie. This is just, you know, lip balm guys. So we're adding a little bit of ballet slippers from Mad Micah's and my 
passion fruit flavor oil and mix it all up and if it gets a little chunky you know like it's not as fluid as you want just make sure it's not too high before you pour just put it back on the double boiler for a few minutes it'll just warm it up just you know just enough and um mix it up really well so you don't have chunks of mica in there and i know itty bitty batches and you're all like what the heck are you doing i'm doing itty bitty batches because that's just me right now um i got this sent to me it's a like a rubber one right so it doesn't it's not solid um but i just thought for funsies we would just pop a few in there and use this it does make it a little easier you know you've seen me pour it and i'm not too bad at pouring but you can um, because if you don't shove them all the way up, you have just a little bit of extra space and then you can, you know, fill them up and just make sure they're nice. I am going to take my heat gun to them, um, anyway, just because, but, um, it just gives it a nice smooth, pretty top. But, um, yeah, see, you can just kind of fill in the holes, um, cause that's always an issue. It's just the way it cools, I think. But... That's okay. It's always an issue I have. <laughs> okay, into the salty sugar body polish. I have in this little dish here some mango butter that is melted. And I am adding some more of my jojoba rose oil to this. And, um... I have rose petals on my spatula from my when I powdered them in my coffee uh, coffee grinder, spice grinder, whatever you want to call it. It's a spice grinder to me, but <laughs> and then um, you can use up to three percent of the passion fruit rose in sugar scrubs, according to the Brambleberry website. Um, so yeah, I use three percent. Because this is for moi. I get to use this. And it was delightful in the shower. Okay. So then there's two ounces Himalayan salt. Two ounces of sugar. Um, the coarser the better. And about um, 0 0.07 ounces of rose petals. And I think that's half an ounce of um, the oils. Plus the flavor oil. Um, I don't like really oily, oily sugar scrubs. I like them almost on the dry side, but not quite. Um, if you like them a little bit um, more, you can add another half an ounce to this if you wanted to. Um, my little a secret at the end is not a secret. I'm just going to add a little bit of castor oil to this. Um, castor oil seems to get a bad rep, and it's just because of how sometimes they use hexane to... Um, Oh, geez, you know, extract it. Um, but it's not. I mean, it's it's got huge, huge properties. You know, go look it up. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. This is super simple and easy. And there is our salty sugar body polish and our lip balm. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.